Now to a story you'll only see right here on ABC Big 2 News. Fentanyl taking the life of yet another teen in the Odessa area. The 111 Project is speaking out tonight, spreading awareness on the dangers of the drug. Hi, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Garrett Hoddle. And I'm Madeline Bierster. We're joined now live in studio with Rachel Hallam after she spoke with a group for this exclusive story. Rachel, they say this continues to be a major problem in our area no matter how much they fight to protect the children of Odessa. Absolutely. According to the Texas Health and Human Services, fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. And since 2019 alone, fentanyl-related deaths among Texans has increased by 500 percent. Now the 111 Project simply wants to educate the public. We have a fierce fight against fentanyl. Um, the main reason is because we've lost our own children. Fentanyl a drug that has taken the lives of many teens in the Odessa Midland area. I've seen what fentanyl's done to my friends. It's taken their kids and that's why I joined with them in the fight is to make sure or to help make sure that there's no more lives stolen in our community. Michelle Watson founded the 111 Project after losing her son Malachi to fentanyl. I wish that my son could call me or text me one more time to say hey mom you know I I'm struggling or can you pick me up and I and I won't ever get that again. Now many have joined the 111 project to help Watson educate the public on the dangers of the drug. Our main goal is to educate, educate the young people, educate parents, educate everyone in our community because this stuff is taking our kids day by day. Last week yet another Odessa mom lost her 15 year old son after she says he overdosed on fentanyl. She looked at me and she's like I see you. She's like, you're Malachi's mom, right? Because we had met a month earlier and now I'm visiting her because she's now one of us. Many locals in the 111 project have experienced a personal loss exactly like this. And that is why they try to fight to protect others from experiencing the same, including Donna Johnson, who lost her 17 year old son to fentanyl just four months ago. I hate that we met under these circumstances, but I believe that God puts people in our lives at the right time for a reason because I feel so much better doing what I'm doing right now. I have a purpose. My and my child didn't die in vain. Each one of them emphasized the importance of having these conversations with everyone, especially because they say there is a major misconception when it comes to the lives lost. People think, oh, these kids are just taking fentanyl. Mm -hmm. They're not. It's laced in what they're consuming and they don't realize it. And then we get a call and unfortunately another mom or another dad or another friend are joining our group. And most importantly, if you see something, say something. You could be saving a life. I, I wish that my son's friends had come to me and said, look, it's this bad. Mm -hmm. And I know that they're living with that regret right now. Speak up. Don't think that you're not cool because you're not doing drugs or because you say something to somebody, you know, because it's, it, can, it can take your life. Now, there are many ways to save life and many signs of an overdose. All those resources can be found right now on our website. There you can also find more information on the presentation the project is holding tomorrow night at the Medical Center Hospital Fitness Center beginning at 630. Reporting live in studio, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News.